Okay, so here's another question where we have um, a situation where they're changing directions. They're going to be swinging up there, and going from running horizontally to be swinging up at an angle. And it does point out some of the advantages of working with energy sometimes is that um, if we were doing this uh, as a kinetics problem, we'd be thinking about vectors and the different directions and maybe components or vector diagrams or something like that. Um, where, as in energy, uh, sometimes these swinging things work out rather nice in energy being a scalar quantity. We don't really have to think about the directions quite as much. So, um, yeah, let's give this a try. So, first of all, a little diagram to get a sense of where we're going here. Uh, we have this person, this girl, and she's running and running along and here let's draw some lines and then she's going to grab that rope so she just grabs the rope and the rope is right there and then she's going to swing out like that and the rope's going to carry her out here and here she is out here holding on to the rope yeehaw there she goes okay so um what we can say is that uh, this is our before and just as she's releasing the rope uh, is at the after here. And so the before, and, and this might be a little different than some of the ones we've been doing. We, a lot of the questions that we've run into, uh, lots of potential energy before and it gets converted into kinetic energy, but this one's kind of backwards. Um, same concept, so it should be fine, but a um, little bit different in the way that we lay things out. Um, so at the beginning, they have kinetic energy. They're running, and they grab the rope, and then they start the swing. So there's lots of kinetic energy from the running here, lots of motion there. Um, the potential energy, well, if we consider this to be zero, kind of a height of zero, um, then we would say there's no potential energy at the beginning there. Now, as they get up to the after, um, they're just about to release or they just get to the very end. So at that very top, just kind of like when you throw up a ball at the very top, it, it's a velocity of zero. Their swinging out to the end is the same idea, is that the velocity out here is zero. So no kinetic energy. But they are up higher so there is definitely potential energy so we kind of have a feel for what's going on here so let's start laying out some equations here uh, I guess we'll call this a um, the e before equals e after should always start off that way all right and uh, at the beginning well we know that there's kinetic energy and at the end all of that kinetic energy is being converted to potential energy as they swing upwards. Um, and so what we can do there is we can say 1 half mv squared equals mgh. And like happens often, uh, the masses cancel out. And in this case, we're solving for h. So let's rearrange. And really, we just have to divide both sides by g. So we could write this as 1 half v squared all divided by g. Or if you remember and you wanted to pop that 2 to the bottom, you could do that as well. Perfectly good. Um, so 1 half and the velocity is the velocity at the beginning there is 5 all squared. And g is 9.8. And so we plug that into our calculator and we come up with 1.3 meters. All right, so they're swinging out, but the vertical height that they get up while they're swinging is 1.3 meters. All right. So uh, B, uh, how does the mass impact the answer? Um, well, we, we look back here and we say um, if, if it was a little tiny kid or if it was a full grown person, uh, as long as they were running at that same speed when they grabbed the rope, they're going to go to the same height because the masses are cancelled, which tells us that the masses were irrelevant here. So um, the masses, we can say no impact. 
and you could say masses cancel. In other words, there's our answer and there's how we know our answer to be true. Okay, how does the length of the vine affect the answer? Well, uh, again, um, we can look at it and if it was a longer vine, in other words, if it was way up here and kind of like that, we can picture that the tree was taller and they swing out. Um, and really, uh, we don't have, we can see from our geometry that all we had to worry about was the height there. Um, the vertical height that changed. So we really didn't have to pull out any trigger, or do anything fancy with the length of the vine. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that it doesn't matter how long that rope was. I mean, if the uh, branch was quite a bit higher and you ran and grabbed it at the exact same speed, well, we would expect to come up that same distance. In other words, the same kinetic energy at the beginning the same potential energy that we're gaining at the end. So the height, the vertical height, would be the exact same. So again, no impact and no length in our equation. And we can justify that. And we're done.